guys, it's Dark Roller 1030 here, and it's been a freaking while. How are you? I know that I did a video two days ago, but this time it's just different. I want to kind of just step away from that and kind of move something different. Today I'm going to talk about the news that affected me today, um, or that I felt had some little to significance or a massive significance into my life. So we're going to get started, shall we? I'm so excited. Anyways, okay, so starting in news, we're going to start with the good news. My state, New Mexico, has finally officialized gay marriage. It is going to happen here. We are the 17th state to have gay marriage. Very excited about this. Still, it's not half of the country, but I take what I can get. The fact that it's in my state is good. Um, will I plan on getting married because of it? No. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, right now... It's just it's just a nice that the idea is there. I have uh, I have people that I know who are gay here, and it would just be nice to see them get married and just to be all happy with their partners and things like that. that I, I, you know, that's that's cool. That's cool to me. Um, so it's nice that finally New Mexico is that. A lot of people don't even know where New Mexico is. People think I'm talking about the country Mexico when I mention my state, but I don't know. I guess people just don't hear the new. <laughs> um, anyways. Whatever, but New Mexico is a state. It's between Arizona and Texas. Literally, there is a state between there. It's not just Arizona. It's this huge ass state. No, it's not. It's literally there's New Mexico right there. And for those who watch Breaking Bad, it's actually filmed here in New Mexico in Albuquerque. Yeah. So, moving on. I'm just so excited about it. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> Uh, in other news, some guy from uh, Duck Dynasty, uh, I never really seen the show. Uh, I saw on Barbara's uh, Most Fascinating People of 2013 yesterday, the, there was this Duck Dynasty. And there's a show, and it's basically a show of these guys who I think they live in the South. And I think they hunt ducks, and they also create duck calls where where you blow into like this whistle, and it makes the sound of a duck. And they, they're they very successful in this business and things like that. And they're praised for being realistic and things like that. I have never seen or heard of this show, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I never heard anybody hashtag it on Twitter. I never seen anybody on my Facebook post. Oh, did you see the latest Duck Dynasty episode? No. Never in my life have I seen anybody from Duck Dynasty post up anything. Duck Dynasty. But I always saw it because every time I walked into like a Walmart or I walked into like a Kmart or anything, you would just see nothing but Duck Dynasty merchandise. I'm like, well, what 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 is this show about? But it didn't even bother me because one, I don't have cable to even watch it, even if I was interested in it. So basically, this was the first time I was actually seeing what the hell the show is about. So I seen this a bunch of people with beards and things like that. I didn't really think much of it at first. I'm just like, ah, oh, this is just um doesn't really interest me but I decided to watch it because I wanted to see just who the fascinating people were so she was interviewing these people and they seemed like they were really cool people and whatever that they were fine and they seemed funny and they seemed like a really good family and they got their shit what I thought was together but you know but they were overall nice people it was like it was like it was really cool I like the shade that Barbara threw at them <laughs> <laughs> I know it was me, but yeah, she threw some massive shade on their part. But anyways, as time progressed on, um, also yesterday, there was some sort of video that kind of was like surfing the internet. Found this on Facebook, where this guy from Duck Dynasty, I guess is the old guy, his name is like Phil Henderson or Henderson or whatever his name is. And basically, he was having a rant about just... All this, all this stuff. He was just throwing his opinions about there. He kind of threw stuff about gay people. I didn't watch the video personally. I didn't want to watch it because I didn't feel like getting pissed off yesterday. I was just having a good day. I didn't want to get pissed off by hearing somebody else's things. And then I make a video about it. And I just say all this bad shit. I don't want to say it. So anyways, I sat there and I kind of, I like read like a script of what he said. Uh, just a little gist of it. And he said something about... Um, that sin is a sin and you know whatever and that how he prefers how he doesn't understand how men can prefer another guy's anus over a girl's vagina and that it seems that the girl's vagina has more to offer and something else and 
I don't know, just some very ignorant statements. And you know what? It's his fucking opinion. You can't really... Honestly, people always say you can't knock it until you try it, you know? But obviously nobody's going to try it because you're straight, you know? You're straight. You're not going to try it. You always know you're straight. And then um, people have issues with gay people. And I'm just like, what, what the f why, why the fuck would you have issues with gay people? <laughs> The thing is, is that a lot of people, what they don't like about gay people is the fact that we supposedly show off our, our, uh, lifestyle. Well, what the fuck do you want us to do? You want us just to sit there and pretend nothing? Just only show our gayness when we're in the house? No. No, 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 no. The only thing that I don't like about our gay community, to be perfectly honest, is that when it comes to gay pride, literally there's all these shirtless men and guys and like like bikinis and there's like people who bring their kids there and things like that and i just think that that tradition needs to change it's good that we have pride but i just feel as though that it's just not it needs to change it needs to change um because we're trying to win over audiences not scare them away and like like when i was closeted uh i was a homophobe and things like that scared me like, it really, really scared me. It didn't make me want to embrace it. it didn't make me want to go to it. It just pushed me away. And that's what I still don't like. I have still yet gone to a gay pride. Um, because, you know, it's just there for just... It's just a, a week. It's a week party. That's all it is. It's just a week of partying. And I'm not a party goer. And um, that's just me. But anyways, back to this guy from Duck Dynasty. He's talking about all this stuff and, uh, you know, he's religious and obviously he has his beliefs and he is entitled to his beliefs and, you know, that's perfectly fine. Well, uh, AMC decided to just delete him off of the, uh, like, just like get rid of him. I don't know why I said delete him, but they just decided to just fire him. I don't think the guy deserves to be fired. I mean, one, he's an old age and, you know, people who were born at a certain time don't really get, get. A lot of this stuff, they they tend to see like like there are people still out there who believe that blacks shouldn't have rights, and you know there's just you know there's ignorant people, and they're just an old age, and that's just that's just what happens. He's entitled to whatever he wants to believe in. It's his it's his right. It's his American right to believe in his freedom of speech and to say whatever he wants to say and showcase it however he wants to showcase it. Because look at what I'm doing. I'm sharing my opinions online and. You know, it sucks. The only thing is that he just has to be prepared for the consequences of what's going to happen. You know, he has a show that he just put on Jeopardy, him and his family on Jeopardy. They make money off of this show. And I know that talking and whatnot is freedom of speech. But if you have an audience, and what happens if the majority of your audience, which I'm saying is not true, but let's say that the majority of your audience were gay people. You just lost your fan base right there just because of your words. And, um... And whatever. I know that they said that they were not about the money and whatnot and stuff like that. And that was cool of them. But the thing is, is that I just wish, you know, I don't think he should be fired. I just think that if you don't like the show and if you don't like what he said, then don't watch the show. It's as simple as that. Just pass by it. And then if a lot of people don't like it, then the show will just die on its own. It will just, it will just go away and whatever. It may become even more popular, whatever. The thing is, is that this is different because I had a different issue with Chick-fil-A and Chick-fil-A was different because of the fact that their, the money that you guys were spending on Chick-fil-A was going to organizations to transform gay people back to straight. That was an issue for me and I didn't believe in that and I didn't like that so therefore I refused to ever pay there at Chick-fil-A. A lot of people just think that it was just gay people getting over sandwiches. Even gay people themselves think that this was over a sandwich. People refuse to do the research of what was actually behind this Chick-fil-A incident. And that's where I have a difference. When I feel as though that you are personally affecting me or one of my gay brothers or sisters or transgender brothers and sisters and just if you are just messing with anybody in my community whatsoever it becomes a fucking issue it becomes a major issue and i do not support that uh but with duck dynasty it was just this guy just talking he was just talking i don't even think he said it on the show unless if he did say it on the show then that then 
AMC has the right to kick him out for that one. But if he was just saying it on his own time to like a camera and he was kind of vlogging about it and just posting up his opinion, then yeah, that that that's that's what's gonna then he has no right to really get fired. At least in my personal opinion. I don't I don't know. I know what he said probably pissed a shit ton of people off. I'll, I'll probably watch it later because now I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. So I don't know. That's good. That's that's uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, speaking of Barbara Walters, most fascinating people, there was a bunch of other things that were really interesting that happened yesterday. Um, she said, like uh, Miley Cyrus. Actually, I respect Miley Cyrus now after seeing that. I don't know. If she was being real. I don't know if she was being fake, but. She really fascinated me yesterday with her interview. I liked how she, uh, when Barbara asked her about Liam and things like that, literally, I just like how she responded to her questions. I think that I have more respect for Miley Cyrus now. I still don't like the tongue. I still find it, it to be a little annoying and, at times and things like that. But um, Miley definitely is definitely not the best role model in the world, but... I just respected her, especially when she talked about Liam. She said that she was too young to get engaged, she didn't really have time to really live her life and things like that. And she just wanted people to accept her for her and that the people that know that are around her know her and just know that she changes every day and that she's trying to mature. She's only 20 years old. I, I, I didn't I didn't even know that. I thought, I don't know. I don't know how old she was. Um, and... You know, that's what's cool, you know, so Miley Cyrus, definitely, you know, two thumbs up for you. Um, I definitely give more respect for you. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, too. I love Jennifer Lawrence. She's she's really funny. And um, uh, that was pretty cool. Also, another rumor came out yesterday. Justin Bieber's retiring, I think. Um, some people are just, like, jumping up and down for joy and stuff like that. I personally think the kid needs a break. He really does need to get the fuck up out of the 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 spotlight and he needs to just live his own life and just kind of like have some time he never really had time to grow up and just kind of be in his thoughts like it's gotta suck that you're like a superstar and even on your days off it's like literally it's like you have a job and you know in your job you shut off your job when you have the day off you know you have the day off and you can go hang out with your friends you can stay at home you can do whatever you want and nobody has to know when you go back to work you know but for a celebrity it's different because you are constantly if if when you're not working you're still under surveillance it's like literally you have no private life no matter where you go you are being followed and that's scary as hell if you wanted to go visit your mother for the holidays you got the paparazzi on your ass following you to where you live you know it's just it's it's ridiculous and it's scary a lot of people are excited of the fact that Justin Bieber's leaving I, and, and because of, you know, his music or just because, you know, he just seems like a whiny little brat to people and things like that. Me personally, you know, I like Justin Bieber's music before, you know, back when he was younger and he liked um, before, you know, all this bad publicity came out. He was really cool. I thought he was a cool person. Um, he probably still is a cool person. He's just now giving off this bad boy image because of the fact that, you know, he's just pissed. He's just pissed because all these paparazzis are on his case all the damn time, bringing up old shit, things like this. And just like they just make him mad. And so I get it. I, I, I guess I understand his point of view as well, because, you know, the paparazzi can twist any old thing and just make it worse, 10 times worse than what it is. Um and I believe, like, honestly, the paparazzi deserves it if he fucking hits them and stuff. Because, like, come on. Get out of the fucking kid's face. I mean, let him do what he needs to do. Um, I know sometimes I, I say that I hate Justin Bieber and things like that. But, you know, I don't really hate the kid. I, I, I think, I think um, you know, I'm glad that he's able to be so successful and, you know, at, at such a young age. But sometimes I just think that if you're too young, you really need a break. You really do. And, um... It's going to suck because if he does take a long break, he's not, if he does come into the music game, it's going to take a lot to get him famous again. So it's going to be difficult because right now he is famous. And then the moment that he steps out of the spotlight and then the paparazzi just doesn't care about him, somebody bigger is going to come up, like maybe like 
One Direction almost destroyed his career. <laughs> I mean, so like, um, actually, they kind of did. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, really, this year, I would have to say the most fascinating person... No, I'm sorry. The most fascinating person for me has to be, hands down, Justin Timberlake. Because if those of you who know me, I'm very biased towards Justin Timberlake. He had two albums that came out this year. Eminem fascinated me too. Except with the whole Rap God thing and just whatever. But even though I like the song Rap God, besides those certain lyrics that he chooses to use freely. But whatever. Um, Eminem really impressed me. Uh... Just just a bunch of people impressed me this year. I was very excited because music was good this year. I mean, like, everybody, everybody, everybody who I, who I followed in the early 90s, or I mean, late 90s, 2000s, were all doing an album. And that was, like, really cool. Britney did an album. Justin did an album. Brought NSYNC back, you know, just for, like, one minute. Um... Eminem came back, uh, Katy Perry did something, uh, who else, who else, a bunch of people came back, uh, I, Lord, it was so much, so many people came back, I was so happy, um, and they all did an album, Beyonce did one, it was a surprise album, which I'm not really feeling so much, you know, I, I listened to it, I'm just not really feeling it, I mean, like, I don't know, when I think of Beyonce, I think of this dancey, type songs and i'm not getting that <laughs> on this i'm not getting that i'm pretty sure a lot of people like the album though but maybe i have to listen to it a couple more times just to kind of get it um lady gaga did an album i felt a little disappointed the album was great don't get me wrong but mm, it wasn't it didn't do so well um i mean it did good it did okay but it just it wasn't what i was hoping it would be um, I was thinking she was going to do fantastic. Uh, Justin Timberlake literally just floored me. I felt like he need. I, I like, I, I'm, I was just so excited that he had two albums. The only thing that I'm really disappointed in, in Justin Timberlake is his music videos. Like literally his music videos just don't do it justice. I think Take Back the Night and Mirrors were the only videos that I would have to say were the best suit and tie was okay didn't really grab my attention things like that but i would have to say definitely my song of the year would have to be mirrors it has to be that song is not old that's i don't care if people think that that song is played out it's not played out for me i love it and probably my next video will be like my top 10 songs of 2013 and we can compare that together and whatnot so anyways guys uh once again this is the long video and um hopefully you guys don't mind <laughs> anyway so what do you guys think of um the whole duck dynasty guy situation do you think that he should do you think that the suspension was right do you think that you know it was wrong do you think um whatever what did you think and did you guys watch the top 10 fascinating people of 2013 and what did you guys think did you think it was in right order do you think it was wrong do you think there were some issues do you think that they missed a person i think she missed justin timberlake she should have brought justin timberlake back but that's my thing i don't think that he was big enough and constantly in people's eyes like somebody else so anyways guys love you guys and uh thank you guys for watching and peace out